Hi guys, in this video, we'll talk about Byzantine general program and how proof of work solves it. First, what is Byzantine general's problem? Byzantine general's problem is a fundamental problem that exists in all distributed systems. Now let's check it. The problem of Byzantine general is happened in this scenario. A number of generals position their armies outside an enemy city that they want to conquer. And they need to choose the time of their attack. And uh, they know they can only be victorious if at least half of them attack at the, at the same time. But if they don't coordinate the time of attack well, they are outnumbered and will lose the fight. Or they can retreat together, so at least no lose to the army. So they, they have to vote and get a final decision for the whole group, then act at the same time. The problem is the generals being physically separated and they they have to send their votes um, by messengers, but messengers may fail to deliver votes and they might get killed or they get caught by enemy and then the message got changed. So they also s suspect that some of general are traitors and will send out like fake message or like they re retreat directly. So basically, these generals have no way of verifying the authenticity of a message. So the problem is how can a consensus regarding the timing of attack be reached in, in, this, in this circumstance, despite the lack of trust and without a uh, like a central government. So these generals need a final decision for the whole group on what to do or when to do it. That's Byzantine generals problem. So we can see there are two things that they need to coordinate with. One is time and the second one is action. To win the battle, at least more than half of generals must do the same thing at the same time. And this problem actually describes how difficult it is for a dispersed party, or we can say distributed nodes, to reach a consensus without the help of a trusted central party. So, Byzantine general problem is a fundamental problem in distributed system, which is finding consensus in the presence of faulty or defective process. And uh, this problem is existed in all distributed system and we said peer-to-peer -peer system is a distributed si system. And blockchain as a peer-to-peer -peer system must solve Byzantine general's problem. That is why we need proof of work at the first place. We need a consensus mechanism like proof of work to make blockchain network trustworthy to all nodes. And all nodes need to agree on a single history of transactions. So we have talked about how proof of work works and then how proof of work solve Byzantine general problem. Let's check. There is a final decision. The message of their vote need to be uh, to be passed safely and make a final decision for every general in Byzantine general problem. So this message are transactions in blockchain. Tra transactions are secured in blocks and we said proof of work makes makes this work. 
build this consensus and what is proof of work proving and how? They prove by mining. The work is mainly mining and the nonce is a proof that the miner finished the work. Get the nonce, then transactions are written to the block and then blockchain keeps growing. Miners start working on mining the new blocks. Now, the messages, which are the transactions, they are stored in blocks already and cannot be tempered. So, unless there is a 51% attack, we won't explain 51% attack here. We just need to know the cost of this attack is extremely high. Attackers need to redo all the mining again so it's very unlikely to happen so proof of work is a very secure consensus and what is consensus about in layman's term so consensus is a bunch of people agree on something right and in blockchain this thing is a single history of transaction in Byzantine general problem this consensus is when to attack the enemy city. And in blockchain, this consensus is all nodes agree on a single history of transactions and all nodes agree on a one state of blockchain, including the way to change blockchain and uh, like w what changes, what transactions are valid and uh, what blocks are valid and which chain is the uh, main chain. And, uh, we mentioned about that the longest one is the valid valid chain for the whole blockchain network and that's the building general problem and how proof of work solved it for blockchain thanks for watching see you in the next one